gonna try not to cough too much. Dave also, Oh, this is socks. She's so cute. In today's video, what I'm gonna do is share with you uh, my tips, well, and Dave's tips, <laughs> of how to teach your little one to ride a bike. And um, yeah, I guess I'm doing this because I'm really proud of our daughter, who's only two and a half and can already pedal and brake and steer a normal push bike. Um, but mainly I'm sharing it because people keep asking me, how on earth have you taught her so young? Frequently when we're out with our daughter and she's ever so tiny and she's riding her bike, people say to us, ah, oh, well, of course she can ride a bike really well. It's in the genes, you guys are cyclists. Well, not really, because our little girl is adopted. So yes, she's been surrounded by bikes. Mm, maybe we might have subtly influenced her, but it's certainly not in the genes, is it? <coughs> our way of teaching a kid to ride a bike it's probably a bit of an unconventional way and I realise that you guys might not have rollers and you might not have multiple bikes so this is just our funny kind of silly way of teaching our daughter how to ride a bike might not work for you but you might find it interesting let's get started I'm going to go downstairs and talk you through the steps that we took to get our little girl pedalling a push bike first thing you're going to need for your kid is a bike obviously um, We've got a little balance bike, so there's no pedals, and it really helps your child to learn how to balance, because they just walk along initially with a foot on either side, bum on the saddle, yes. walk along, and then gradually, they're getting faster, they're lifting a leg off, they're lifting two legs off until we. Oh gosh, I can't even put this in the video, I'm such a doofus, aren't I? You need to sit down and show us. So. So, so. first of all, they just walk along like this, Gradually you build up speed, yeah, right? So they lift their feet off, they've learned how to balance, that's the first step. Um, now if you can't get a balance bike, you can't afford a balance bike, or you don't want to have to go through a series of different bikes, um, you can actually just use a normal bike with pedals, but take the pedals off, and that way your kid can get used to, not pedaling, but just get used to balancing on their bike. So that's step one. The reason we taught our daughter to pedal on rollers is because she saw me riding rollers and um, she thought it looked really fun and she wanted to have a go. You don't have to have rollers to teach your kid to pedal. You can hold the front, you know, hold the back wheel up like that and they can pedal, well, not like that. Hold the back wheel up, they can pedal like that. Or obviously trikes, they teach you how to pedal. On your marks, get set, and go. An easy way to get them to learn to pedal without them having to also balance their bike and roll along and brake and do everything else. It just kind of um, it separates the steps. So you've got learning to balance on the balance bike, you've got learning to pedal on the rollers, and the next step is putting them both together. I bought a set of pads for our daughter. Um, they don't do small enough knee pads for two year olds, so I bought a set of junior pads and she wears the elbow pads on her knees. Uh, gloves, impossible to get bike gloves for a two year old. They just they literally don't exist. You can't get anything practical for a two year old. I've been trying to get hiking boots too, can't find them. Anyway, smallest gloves I could find. Her fingers are like barely in there, but it just helps because um, the worst thing when you fall off a bike is skidding along and taking the skin off your palms. Obviously she's got a helmet. Now those things are pretty obvious. The other thing that we use that is super helpful is a backpack. Get a backpack with a little chest strap so it stays on. Um, it's really handy if it's got a little handle at the top. And with the backpack on, you can help your child um, build up their confidence and you're there to kind of grab them before they hit the floor. So um, that is the absolute best bit of advice. The best bit of kit you can get is a little backpack. And um, yeah, just, I'll show you how it works. If your child can balance and they can pedal, they're gonna be able to pedal and balance. It's just how it works. If your child has the confidence to go along on a balance bike uh, and they're enjoying pedaling on the rollers, they, they will be able to do it. So, yet another bike. Our daughter's got four bikes at the moment. She's almost as bad as we are, but they're, they're not actually all ours. Um, we've borrowed some and stuff. It's just about making it fun, right? These are all gonna go back. Uh, so next stage is 
go outside and put the two together. It's so exciting when you see your kid riding a push bike for the first time. So we're turning this way. Yeah. Wow! Turn, 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 turn. One thing you have to be mindful of if you're teaching a really young child to ride a bike is um, you can't actually get really, really, really small bikes with pedals. The one that we've got, um, our daughter can't actually touch the floor. So you do have to um, hold her up as she sets off and then let go and then get her when she wants to stop, wants to stop and get her off. I'll just get you when you want to stop. So we're turning this way. I hope you enjoyed this video um, and you've picked up a couple of tips of how to teach your own child how to ride a bike. Um, obviously these tips aren't just for really really small children, they could help anyone. Um, if you've got any further questions do leave them in the comments below. Do get in touch and let me know how it's going with your children, I'd love to hear from you. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, bye!